three new ports are joining this year's maritime cybersecurity exercise led by the Maritime and Port Authority of Singapore. Now, the exercise simulates cyber attacks on multiple ports across regions. The ports of Nagoya and Tokyo in Japan and the port of Sinus in Portugal are among 40 participants in this exercise. And to explain how it went, we have with us in the studios Mr. Ong Chinbeng. He is Chief Information Security Officer at MPA. Mr. Ong, welcome. Pleasure. So, Mr. Ong, this year's exercise, you went as far as Portugal to, to include uh, that port. Uh, how is the threat of cyber attacks actually impacting on this global level and, and why include ports as far away as Portugal? Well, Don, as a city state, we import all the goods that, almost all the goods that we consume. And to preserve the way of life, it's very important that the global supply chain do not get severely disrupted. And by that means to say that over 80% over over of the international goods movements are carried out through shipping. They include the online shipping orders that Singaporeans made their ship from overseas to Singapore. However, the ship and the shore based systems, digital system especially, escape, they get more widely adopted and digitalized and interconnected. That also means to say that the cyber risk has increased correspondingly. And the impact of a successful cybersecurity attack will disrupt the global supply chain. Just late last year, we actually witnessed the real and immediate impact on port operation on the number of Australian ports. And this attack actually affected the goods flow in and out of the country. Right. So the more interconnected the world becomes, uh, the more vulnerable we become as well because we have so many connections uh, with these specific ports. What did you gather from this particular exercise? What were the insights? We, we are fortunate to have three new ports that participate in this particular exercise as the part of our Port Authority CIO Cybersecurity Network. So as part of this exercise, the other ports also discuss the cyber mitigation strategies and from the exercise, we realised the importance of having in quick and dissemination of information to our community. Mm. And by that means to say that we do not have ambiguous information and information get disseminated in a timely manner. And what it means is that you need to have very strong protocol that are pre-established before the incident so that when the incident was to happen, you're able to then execute and drill down to the protocol and execute the early information sharing. Yeah. In that sense. Mm, yes, speed, of course, is of the yes. essence with this. Let's talk about the uh, Maritime Cyber Assurance and Operations Centre that it will be uh, set up by the year 2025, is that correct? That's right. Tell us more about why that centre is being set up and how it's going to benefit. Generally, there is inequality in terms of cyber knowledge and experience among companies in the maritime sector. And as an ecosystem, the strength of our ecosystem is only as weak as the weakest link. To strengthen this, this link, MPA and also the industry, we jointly developed this operation centre. And this operation centre aggregate the demand and also pull together the resources, manpower-wise, to have a collective monitoring. And from the exercise, which validate the initial operating capabilities of this centre, which we term as Maritime Cyber Assurance and Operations Centre, or MCAO, in short, it basically validates the capability of the prototype in its ability to monitor real-time systems of the members, disseminate cyber threats information in a very quick manner, and also be able to provide advisory in terms of response and recovery for their systems. Yeah, the weakest link. It sometimes can be the individual, right? Yep. So for, for a company, self-assessment is important to regular self-assessment uh, periodically, and a portal exists uh, for them to do that as well, uh, to check their cybersecurity infrastructure. Uh, that was launched. Explain to us a little bit briefly how that works. The Cybersecurity Scorecard is an initiative by Singapore Shipping Association, or SSA in short, that was just launched this morning. It is a self-assessment tool. And this self-assessment tool actually helps companies to be able to identify potential weaknesses, to enable early actions to be undertaken, to manage cybersecurity risks early. Yeah, early action is always important. Mr. Ong, thank you so much for coming thank into for the studios me, and uh, sharing this important information with Pleasure. us.
I've been speaking there to Mr. Ong Chin Beng. He's Chief Information Security Officer at the Maritime Port Authority of Singapore. Thank you. Thank you.